Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face. And I took a, a brief break but since the last episode to, uh... You know, go to the bathroom, check my messages, take my pills since that alarm went off. And now we're back. Alan's gotten himself uh, rearmed to a pretty good condition. And, uh... Full uh, revolver ammo, lots of shotgun ammo, lots of flares, even a couple flashbangs left. Uh oh. Now I'm even better prepared! And I don't even have room for those batteries. Uh, let's see, now that we've checked out that episode of Night Springs, I'll just make sure I've uh, already started my timer. Good, and I will head out. What? Oh shit. Also, it felt weird to turn right and then turn right again, so I'm just gonna go in a big loo a loop this way. There we go. It's like untangling a knot. Oh! There it is. Wake attacked by the Dark Presence. It's weird that it wasn't, uh... Whatever. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Hey, that's really, really bad. You see, that makes it sound like the darkness itself becomes a physical presence. That's a very large open area. <laughs> Shit. Oh, hey. No one in that. Oh, that was a bad place to stand. Christ. I started to pop. That's not good. Okay, sorry about that. Incidentally, it does not escape my notice that I'm literally having a boss fight against, uh, <laughs> a recurring element of my nightmares. Large, heavy machinery that really wants me dead.
Yeah, that was accurate. Hmm. Okay, just checking. I didn't think so, but I was just checking. Having resolved to try and find a vehicle from the train depot, Alan Wake heads for it. Yes, Wake. All those descriptions use his uh, surname. I'm like 99% sure it's supposed to make a ka chunk noise when the gate reaches the end. You know oh, hey. Slidey machinery does not generally uh, stop silently. You know, the Bureau has a, uh, a manuscript page in their possession. I don't think they actually let you see what that one says. Please keep out authorized personnel only. For just a second there, the movement of the flashlight beam made it look like the entire skid was flickering like an item you can pick her up. Pick her up? Yes. Right. Realize that made no sense. Okay. Oh. I guess this one doesn't count. I hope Barry's okay. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. I thought we were meeting there at like... Hmm. The coal mine wasn't far now. Ooh, stuttery. Must be loading. Today, oh, that's better. I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. I don't have many of my equipment. Coal Mine Museum. Actually, what does this say? Welcome to Bright Falls. And there's no way I can read that. It's too blurry. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I... Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. But it matched a textbook case of insanity. I was just gonna say, I was 100% convinced that get, uh, trying to get in the car there would result in a just a lo voice line from Alan. I just wanted to hear it. No, none of you seem to be uh, pages instead of white rocks. How do they not have a fucking fence up here? Well, I guess they have that fence, but that's for cars, man. Actually, what is back in this direction, now that I think about it? Maybe that's a cliff. I very much don't like how this one segment of, uh...
loops around. Is there something down there? No. Yeah, I very much don't like how some of the segments of the fence are missing. I really should have brought the car. I didn't realize it was going to keep going this long. Hey, that's weird. Even during daytime, I was being stalked. The bridge must have collapsed only moments after I'd crossed it. Yeah, this I definitely don't remember. This might shock you, but I made it back over here completely uneventfully. I swept the other side this time, hugging the wall. No, no, I am staying on this side. Every once in a while, when I'm playing a video game where you drive cars, I, uh, stop thinking about it and try to get in on the left. And I'm gonna go ahead and blame 150 episodes of Mad Max on that, even though that was two years ago. No, no, it's just a red splotch. By the way, I'm aware that I can probably turn off the, uh... Well, I guess it's not there, but I, I'm aware that I can probably turn off the, uh, the, 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 the... What do they call it? The copyrighted music. They had an option for that in, uh, Quantum Break and Control. So I'm figuring they probably have one here in this remastered version of this one, whether or not they had the option in the original. But I decided not to do that, because I did do that for Quantum Break, and I felt like the series suffered slightly as a result. Because wherever there was supposed to be, uh, copyrighted music, instead of putting, like, generic background music, they just put nothing. Silence. And there was one scene in particular. Well, the thing that comes to mind most, and most obviously is the entire credit roll was silent, which felt very awkward for me. But, uh... There was this one scene in particular that really stands out, and that's a uh, nice drop of the mud, by the way. That, uh... Yes! Yes, that's right. Uh, Jack Joyce gets into the, uh, the van with Beth Wilder, gets into her car. And she starts it up. And she, uh... Beth Wilder, by the way, played by Courtney Hope, the same actress who played Jesse Faden in Control. Remedy does like reusing people. And, uh... They get in, and they turn on the engine, and it does a shot where they both- or, uh, Jack has a sort of a, what? reaction, and he looks down at the radio, and it shows a close-up of the radio. And then it has him giving her a look and saying, Really? And she says, uh... Hey, my car, my tunes, or something to that effect. And that was just totally ruined because we weren't hearing any music. I'm trying to remember what embarrassing sh song showed up in the uh, credits. It was something like It's Raining Men. Something old enough to be what? To be cheesy. Rough Road. And yeah, no kidding. Hey, call me obsessive, but this- we're talking about lore here. This is more involved than any of those things I collected in Spyro. Good to know if I drive this motherfucker off a cliff at some point. Hey, that's weird. Alice's driver's license is in this junker, too. Really? Just nothing? Anywhere? Ooh. Wait. Oh, this is where I'm meant to go, isn't it? Goddamn camera. Calm the fuck down. Let me get my bearings. Okay, I'm gonna go up there and get a voice line about how the bridge is out. I'm gonna loop back around to here. What is that? That's an armchair! This feels like an Easter egg. What the fu- So, Mr. Thermos, we meet again! 
Just looking at the bottom in case there's like a bunch of bodies down there and someone sat in this chair while watching their servants throw people off the edge. Why is that the first scenario that popped into my head? Jesus. All this darkness is getting to me. I don't think even Caligula did that. I think I was about the best example of a textbook case of a bad leader that anyone's ever had. Not necessarily the best example of an evil leader. You know, I can think of like three or four off the top of my head. But, um... Yeah, just a bad leader. He was interested literally only in himself. Oh. To the point of uh, declaring war on the ocean because a storm spoiled something he wanted to do. And, uh... What was it? He... he I don't remember exactly what the position was. I think he made his his own horse, like a pro console or something. Jeez, Alan. You know what I really don't like about this is that there is no middle of the bridge. It's gone, as if it just floated off into the sky instead of going down. in the trunk, don't worry about me. The bridge materializes above me as a joke. Uh oh! Oh, thank god, I thought I was genuinely stuck for a second there. I mean, I could have gone back for that jeep, but... It looks like I better do this bit on foot. And you know what? Because this is taking longer than I hoped, uh... I'm just gonna do this off-camera. Let's search the wilderness. I'm going to be honest, I haven't found anything, but I'm only recording this because I didn't think I would be able to climb a hill this steep. Boy, that animation looked funny. I was also to go over there and look at that sign, but now I realize it's just one of these tiny trees, like over there. Back to the car! By the way, at first I was wondering if I was uh, misinterpreting the breathing sounds in the woods and it was just Alan, you know, after sprinting. But it do it, this is a good opportunity to hear that it does sound different. And of course, the uh, the one in the in the forest when it's dark is uh, a much less agitated just. If that even got caught on the mic and didn't sound disgusting. Here's hoping I don't have to cut that out. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I found shit. Shit, no, what no, that's not. Yes, I wanted I wanted to say I found fuck all, but then I said the wrong profanity. Uh wait, that's not where I'm going. God damn it me! Now I have to know. Why couldn't I have just not noticed that like everyone else? Oh. Oh, this is the... Oh, this is just the next checkpoint. Well, I'm... Mm, I don't want to steal this car. At least the other one is like a municipal one. I guess we'll just listen to this. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF-FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was... Detained. Oh no. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. <laughs> now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. 
Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Apology accepted. I know we didn't mean anything by it. I mean, I'd, I'd just gotten there. He had no way of knowing that I was, uh... Well, being fucking hunted. By a federal task force, and the looks of fucking things. Actually, no! He was relying on the deputies. It was just, uh... Agent Nightingale. That's an interesting thought. Anyway, the timer did go. So, uh... Sorry for wandering around to the woods, yammering all this time, but, uh... I do genuinely feel better about looking around and uh, making sure I don't miss any pages, because hot damn! The collectible is lore. I love that. I don't know how many times I've played games where it's just like, collect 100 things, and it doesn't matter. Like the hidden packages they used to put in GTA games, or the, uh... Well, the fucking thermoses from this very game here. Not to denigrate the Odier Cafe's, uh, the Odier Diner's, uh... Famous coffee or anything, but, uh... Yes. Alright, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake. Huh, can't focus the uh, beams here, either. Oh, yes, uh, let's play Alan Wake again, rather. That other series ended many years ago. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to get to the museum next time, hopefully. Knock on wood. And we're going to get some answers. Till then, follow my advice, and let me just get out of this shadow here. Stay in the light.